Hey guys, how are you? So um, today I'm here with a piece of code, uh, which is the code for the break breaker game. So what this game will do that it will allow the user to play uh, a break game, and the user will use a bat and a ball to hit the breaks. And if he succeeded in finishing the breaks, then he's the winner. Else he's a loser. So okay, starting with the code, um, we are importing the libraries that we will use in the game. Um, next, what we are doing that we are just uh, creating the class main class and it extends from j panel and implements key listener action listener and runnable so the main thing uh, which we need to remember is that uh, this uh, game this code is using the logic of the threads to implement the things for example we need uh, threads we need multiple processes to be run in the same code so uh, threads will handle that okay so starting with the variables first of all these two variables are used to move the bat left and right and then these variables set the positions of the ball and the bat means the coordinates of the ball and the bat respectively and then um, this position this is the position for the bricks that are obviously placed in the center of the frame and then we are creating a rectangle, a rectangular ball and the rectangular bat and rectangular bricks of course of um, which are in the array type of uh, number of 12 and these are also rectangle and then we are creating the thread type variable which will be used to split the processes okay so in the constructor what we are doing just we are just binding the action key listener to the object and um, just creating a new thread and starting it so uh, the next function we are having is the main method so main is not a dummy method here so in um, this besides creating a brick breaker game object what is doing that it is providing the frame or a panel to run the game so um, this all code uh, what is doing that it's creating a frame and setting its size and defining the cl close operation and adding the buttons and binding them to the respective events but uh, so uh, this is providing the interface of the game okay so the next function we are having is the paint function what will it do that it will paint each and every object present on the panel so for example if there are just uh, like uh, the codes is just the lines are just repetitive so for example you can see that we are just setting the color first and then filling the rectangle and then setting the color and then filling the object again okay so um, we are doing and in this loop we are setting the color for the bricks so um, this is the ongoing process and it's just repetitive. Um, the next thing, uh, which is the very, very important thing, is the logic of the game. Um, for this, we have to create a more number of variables and um, but the logic we are uh, maintaining that when the ball strikes the borders, it reverses, or when a ball uh, strikes a brick, it reverses. So uh, we need the move of like the coordinate x and the coordinate y, which we are taking here and then we are having a variable of boolean uh, type ball fall down uh, which will tell if the player has loose and then you're having a variable of brick bricks over so it tells that if the bricks are over then the player wins okay so in the run method we were doing that first of all we are creating the bricks for the game and placing them in their respective coordinates so uh, this is the code that is doing the creating stuff and placing them in their respective uh, things uh, next um, what we are doing that we are maintaining the logic that um, if the player has not uh, lose the game and the, or if the player has not win the game and if the ball touches the brick or the ball touches the walls then the ball should bounce back so this is the thing um, if brick dot i dot bricks are i intersects ball then brick i is equal to null we are creating the null object and then it is reverse which is doing here move i is equal to minus negative move i and it is reversed back okay so um, the next is uh, said we are checking if the ball hits the bricks and um, if it hits the brick then the status is that you won the game and uh, next we are checking here if it's not then we are repainting uh, the thing and moving back the ball and uh, next um, we are checking here that if the uh, ball has uh, hit the surface then we will set the status that you have lost the game and uh, if there is like uh, any uh, status lag uh, then this game will terminate okay so for today um, we have a uh see how to implement the game on the main logic in the next uh, video i will tell you how to bind the keys and how to bind the uh, right and left keys and how to play the game okay so in the next video i will uh, show you the output video okay so uh, till then have a great day bye